I'm Mackenzie Derry. I am one of the interns with CHS Ag Services. I am based out of Grand Forks, North Dakota, and today we're at Chirac, Minnesota, so we're northeast of Grand Forks, about 20 miles, and I'm out here with the CHS Pro Plot, and we're looking at soy green. And this has been huge in this area just because we have high pressure of IDC, which is iron deficiency chlorosis, across the field. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a wet year and the soybeans are under just immense amounts of stress or it's been a pretty good year with consistent rains like we've had this year, you're gonna get IDC because these plants go through even just the slightest bit of stress, not able to take up the iron, and it sets the plants back. So actually, if you look, these rows are untreated. They just, with seed treatment, just straight beans. These rows are soy green. So we did a gallon of soy green and then five gallons of water. And you can tell, and you've been able to tell this all season, these plants have been so much healthier. They've been able to emerge quicker. Since these soybeans were able to not go through the stress of IDC, they've been able to put on nodes, and they've been able to put on nodes a lot faster, which in turn is going to help with yield. And it's been consistent in the Red River Valley, especially with these higher salt areas, with these alkali spots, you're able to see it. You are able to take it to the bank. You know, it's, it's worth every penny. So thank you.